Dylan Rand here for another Farming Simulator 19 modding tutorial. This time we're going to be animating wipers and we're going to be working on the Case 9380 here. So on the Case 9380 I already have the front wipers done and I'm going to show you how to do the rear wiper. So if we go to the rear of the tractor here we have a rear wiper that I have not done yet. So this is going to be a couple of different uh, steps we're going to have to do here to get this uh, wiper set up. I have not done anything with the wiper itself. It is a separate piece, so that is important to note here. At least in uh, the way I'm going to be doing everyone, you need to have their wiper and then the wiper arm as separate pieces so you can animate them. So you can see we got the wiper arm and then the wiper itself here is two separate pieces. Uh, what we're going to want to do here is create a couple transform locations so we can uh, make sure that the wiper arm is zeroed, so when you rotate it, it rotates around where it's supposed to, and then the wiper itself is also zeroed, so it rotates where it is supposed to. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a, a transform group. So that, of course, puts it down at the bottom. We're just going to cut that, Control-X, paste it up under the uh, wipers here. So you can see I have the wipers front. Uh, we're not going to mess with that at all. And then we're going to have, oh, actually, you know what? I got a wipers back in here already. Okay, well, I was going to go ahead and create that, but seeing as how that's over there already, that's fine. I will actually cut this transform I created here again and put it up under the wipers back. So we got the wipers back group here. And just because I can, I'm going to move this up just so it's not quite so far down. It doesn't have to be moved up, but I am going to. And we're just going to put that up to about there. So just so it's a little bit closer here. So some are about in there. I'm not looking to actually line this up with the wiper at this point at all. I'm actually going to line this one up with the wiper. And let's see what's here. Front window. So I'm going to name this here. We'll name this the rear. Uh, let's see what's on. So rear center window wiper. Just give that a name here. So rear center window wiper. Makes sense, right? Uh, hopefully, anyway. And then I'm going to move this uh, transform here to the center of this wiper arm. And one of the little tricks I like to do to do this here is I'm going to go ahead and create a primitive cube here. And that's going to put a cube down here. I'm going to set the scale on this to be relatively small. So to do that, you're going to get the middle here, that little middle box, and we'll just uh, scale that down here quite a bit. And quite a bit more. I want this to be quite small. So probably something like that. Again, we're going to cut this. So control X. Go back up to the wiper here. We're going to paste that in the rear center wiper. Paste that in there so now it has the cube. Uh, the only reason I do this is so you can see where this transform is moving. Because otherwise it's kind of hard to see in the 3D environment where this actually is, right? It's just, you know, it has that on it. So now that we put that in there, now we can actually see, oh, hey, look at that. It's moving. And we can get this, uh, try to get this as close to being centered on this wiper as we can. So probably down just a little bit, right about there, I would say, right? That looks like that's fairly centered on that arm. So when it rotates, it's going to rotate like it should on the center of the pivot there. And we can actually move this out here a little bit. It doesn't have to be moved out, but uh, oh, we will anyway here. We'll just move that out on there. There we go. And like I said, again, the only purpose of this cube is just so you can see where this transform is moving to. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the wiper arm. We're going to move that up under that. And I'm just going to move this to the top here as well. Move up. And then we're going to go ahead and edit freeze transforms. We're going to freeze the translate and the rotate. And we can leave preserve. And in fact, you could turn that off. It shouldn't matter because there should be no other instances of this wiper in here. But we'll just leave it on. It shouldn't matter. Okay. So what that did is it took the uh, location of this wiper and it set it to the center of the where we want it to pivot. And uh, what we do now, and I probably should have shown you before I did this. If you had rotated this before, it would have been all over the place because it wasn't on the center here. But now when you rotate it, it's rotating right on the center where you want it to pivot, right? This makes animating it much, much easier. So we'll just undo that because we want to keep it where it's at. Now what we need to do is do the same thing for the wiper itself. And it looks like this wiper isn't quite, quite set in the right spot, is it? That's kind of weird. Whatever. We'll make it work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and create another transform group. Another one down here. I'm going to cut that one. Paste it up into, or actually underneath the cabin wiper here. And then we'll call this, and just so I keep my naming uh, convention the same here, center wiper. So, yeah, we'll call this the uh, center rear wiper. 
Probably should have named the center front one there, but anyway, minor details. I'm just trying to keep the names different here. So when we go to I3D map this everyone, we don't have two objects with the same name in it. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to rotate this. Zoom out here just a little bit. Come on, there we go. We're going to rotate this so it looks like it's about in line with that. We're going to go down to there. And then I'm going to zero the rotate. And we're going to uh, try to get this to line up here with that. Where that wiper connects there. And one thing we can do here again too is we're going to take that cube, cut it. I'll paste it up into this one here. It looks like we might want that cube to be just a little bit smaller here yet. So really make it small. In fact, it's actually uh, kind of hard to see this because we got to zoom in. Okay. That's a pretty good view, I guess. Looks like we're going to move that in just a little bit. And looks like it rotates right there. That's a little bit of a weird spot. I might move that uh, wiper over here. We'll see once because I'm not sure I like where that's at. But uh, we'll... we'll We'll maybe leave it where it's at. We'll see what's here. So, yeah, looks like it's going to rotate right about in there somewhere. I'd like to see it a little more over here. Well, actually, you know what? We can do that, right? Why not? Let's, uh... And here, by the way, this is what I was talking about with the wiper. The transform location for this is down here. And seeing how I can't really see it at the same time, let's go to point zero one, maybe? Nope, wrong way. Let's go negative. Yeah, that looks a lot better to me. I, mean, I like that better. It's got that funny hook on there. I don't know what's up with that, but kind of a funny modeling for that wiper. We'll just leave it on there. That's fine. Okay, back to this. That looked like that's about the right spot. I would say it is. Oh, you know what? I moved the cube, didn't I? Don't move the cube. Move the transform. I'm not sure why it's not giving me the option there. Move that in. Move it up a little bit from the looks of it. Okay. Just trying to get this as close as possible. Uh, this is not something that's going to go around and round where it would be a little more obvious if you're off center. So if you're off a little bit, you're not going to notice it here too much. That looks pretty good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the cabin wiper arm. We're going to move that up into there. Middle mouse move, by the way. So that's a middle mouse move. That way the wiper doesn't actually change locations. And I should have mentioned that here with the arm here as well. That's a middle. So middle click and drag and drop. Okay, we're done with the cube, so we can uh, delete that out. And then we're going to do the same thing with this. We're going to edit, freeze, transforms, apply that. And notice now the transform location is froze on that there. Uh, Technically, it doesn't really probably matter a whole lot. We don't necessarily have to do that because I'm going to be using the pivot on the transform there. Now, what I did with the uh, front windows here to make it easier to uh, do this is I actually used the wiper arm itself as the animation part because all this is zeroed. This part here is not zeroed. So it's going to be a little bit, it um, wouldn't be hard, but it'd be a little bit harder to animate this transform location because this has some different rotation positions on it, right? Whereas on the back here, we don't necessarily have to worry about that. Everything should be zeroed as far as the rotates go. So notice rotation, everything is zero there. So now what we need to do is animate this. And if we're going to go, we need to open up the XML. I already have it open. And uh, the code for this, by the way, is this is what the code is going to look like. So we got two pieces of code. We got an animation section and we got a wipers section. The wipers section is what turns on the animation here. So this is the animation for the front. And then you have the uh, wiper portion that turns on that said animation. And you notice there's two nodes or two parts for each animation. You got the arm and then you got the wiper itself. So there's two pieces to it. And then there's a uh, rotate. And again, because I got the rotations at zero here, I, want, I can just rotate the one axis. I don't have to worry about multiple axes rotating here. So I already have the code in here for the rear. I'm just going to uncomment this out. Uh, the code for this, by the way, Oh, you know what? I actually have it open already. Yeah, I just borrowed this from the quad track. So if you were to say go to the quad track here, in-game quad track tractor, and we scroll down to about the bottom here, I just uh, grabbed this code right here. So just copy-paste that over to whatever mod you're working on. And again, you can find that code under... I have a shortcut to this on my desktop because we're here a lot. But uh, if you have the Steam version, this is where it's going to be under Vehicles, 
Case IH quad track. So that's there you go. That's where that would be found. You can uh, you can follow that link up there. Of course, if you have the non-Steam version, by the way, it's going to be in a slightly different uh, location, but you should be able to figure that out. I also have the animation for the rear wiper here as well. So again, I borrowed all of this code here from the Case Quad track. So this uh, animation name is this animation part up here. We're just going to grab a couple of the uh, parts here. So we're going to give those, let's see what's here. This is going to be the rear center wiper. So we're going to copy this code over or copy that name. Uh, you can also use the index path as well. In my case, everyone, I have this mapped with the i3D. So I'm going to use the names. Uh, just keep in mind, you can also use the index path. Some modders prefer to use that. Some prefer to use the uh, i3D mapping. Depending on what you're doing to the mod, a lot of times it's probably a little easier to use the i3D mapping. That way when you start changing stuff, uh, it should stay the same. Now, what we need to figure out here is what we can, uh, or what we need to rotate this to. So let's go to here. Let's grab the blue. We're going to want it rotated around the blue axis. And make note of which axis, the axis this is as well. I think it's going to be Z, right? Yes, it's going to be Z. So it looks like we can probably rotate probably around like 80, 85 or so. I'm going to guess somewhere in there. It's going to be quite the uh, rotation. And it's rotating around the third axis. So going back to the code here, the third axis is the obviously the third set of numbers. So we're not rotating anything on that one. The second one, it's rotating on the third one. And like I said, it looks like about 80, 85 or so. And then just because of the way these wipers work out, they're both going to rotate uh, was that negative? I forgot to check that. Let's go back and look at this. Was this negative? Yes, it was. Okay. So that's going to be negative. It's going to rotate negative 85, and then that wiper arm needs to stay straight with it. So it's going to rotate positive 85. So once we're over here, let's just actually, if I do negative 85 in here, and then if we were to rotate this one, 85, that is exactly what would happen there. It's going to rotate like that. So, of course, we want to just leave this a zero here. And we'll zero this one back out. Okay, we're going to save that. That should be everything we need to do in the i3D here. Now, again, because I'm not using the index path for this, I'm using the name, I need to i3D map this. And I'll try to remember to put a link for this tool down below here, but we'll use the i3D mapping exporter here. So we're going to open the file, open up our i3D file here, so case 9380. We're going to export mappings and typically leave the shortened IDs on there. We're going to copy that to the clipboard. And we're going to replace the i3D mappings down here. And we'll just uh, paste that in there. And if we were to look in here, somewhere in here, we're going to find, I think I've seen it here. Somewhere in here, there's the wiper. Yeah, there's the wipers. So there you can see the, uh, the wipers right there. So rear window wiper. There's the uh, index path. Uh, center wi rear wiper, and there's the index path there again. Again, these names here map themselves down to the i3D mapping here, and the i3D mapping tells the game where that index node path is. So it, it's essentially almost the same as putting the index path up here. Just in, in some ways, it's an additional step, but it makes it a lot easier when you start moving stuff around in the mod. You start moving stuff around, all you have to do is update this down here as opposed to all the index nodes that might be up here. So we should be good at this point uh, for doing this center rear wiper. Uh, let's see what's your animation time. Let's, let's go in a fair way. So let's put this up to a 0.6 here. So we're going to save this. Then we're going to load up the game here. I got everything saved, right? Yep, everything should be saved. We're going to load up the game and we're going to test this and make sure it works. One moment while the late game loads up. Career, start that, start. I want to make sure all our animations are working here. See what's if we maybe want to go a little further, a little faster, slower. Pretty much however you want to play with those numbers there. Okay, start. And I already have the uh, tractor purchased here. So we're going to go to, make sure you have developer mode turned on for this, by the way. Or you just need to get into a, a point where it's raining in the game either as well. But we are going to go to GS. Set daytime. No, we want to set wiper state. So we'll just tab through here. Set wiper state. So I just type in GS, capital S, and then just start tabbing until it appears. Set wiper state. 
we're going to type in 1, 1 meaning they're on, 0 for off. So push enter, and all the wipers should start moving. Actually, I'm going to stay in, I gotta stay in the tractor, I guess, for them to work. So you can see the front ones, which we're already done, but what about the weird one? That's what we want to care about, right? And I would say that looks like that's rotating about right. Might be going a little far. No, I guess that looks right, right? I would say that looks pretty good there, everyone. We got it done. It is rotating. It is moving. Both parts looks like they're staying relatively in sync. I would say it's kind of hard to tell because it moves rather quick, right? You could, you could slow it down and maybe make sure. But there we go, everyone. We got animated wipers on the uh, case here. So that's how you animate wipers here in the game. Uh, if folks have any comments or questions about this, be sure to leave them down below. Also, if there's something else you'd like to see, uh, tutorial for be sure to leave that down below as well and as always everyone thanks for watching and till next time